All right, high short scale. And everyone else, it's not short scale. I uh, I got these two new squires today. It's a supersonic and this is a tornado. Paranormal series. Um, so some other videos that have come out saying that the, the nut is too small. It's not. It's uh, it feels good. It feels nice and soft. Squishy. It's not squishy, it's hard. Uh, so, the way this guitar works is there's two volumes. Fuck and tone knob. So, you can turn this down. But this is, this is the front, the back, is the, is the back, is the front. And then these, people are saying that this is like... The, the the volume goes the wrong way. That's fucking bullshit too. That they go the right way. They're fine. It's not stupid. Um, but you can do. Uh... So that's off, and it's still making noise. All right. So what I did to this was I put. 12s on it. I usually put 13s, but my guitar center sucks and they don't have 13s. Um, but when you do that, it makes the bridge go crazy. It looks like Niagara Falls and it goes straight up and down. So what you have to do is you have to also go and spend another $3 and uh, buy more springs. And you put more springs in here, which I've already done, and then uh, it never goes out of tune. So that 60 cycle hum guy, he, he, he um, that it doesn't go out of, or it does go out of tune. He had to tune it 500 times because he's a huge baby and he plays nines out of the box. If you play any guitar right out of the box, it's gonna suck. You gotta put at least like five minutes of your own time into it before you review a guitar. You should. Um, this guitar here, I did the same thing, but I haven't ever plugged this one in yet. So if I ever plug it in in this video, you can you see my head? Alright, so let's make some fart noises. Fuck this. Let's play. Are you ready? Here we go. That's some party noises. Here we go. Ready? Farty. It's too far even for me. So let's just go back to that.
so as you can tell, this guitar has twice as much stain, sustain as that guitar. <clears throat> it, so, these are the differences. This has more sustain. This has more mojo. Uh, this is a string through bridge that I might put single coils in and just change the whole entire thing, but I might not. And then, uh, so, this stays in tune, so everyone on the internet is lying. It's fine, it's fine, just buy 12s for it. See, still in tune. Still in tune, you don't need to, to send it back or anything, it's fine. Um, uh, when this got to me though, it had this giant fucking dent in it, so that sucks. Um, thanks Fender. It, uh, it shipped in a cardboard box with a thin layer of styrofoam around it, like the little sheet kind, not like the actual real foam. That one came in uh, two boxes, a box and a box. This just came in a shit box with some shit foam, and then there was like a hole in the box, and now it has a dent, but I don't fucking care. Because it makes sense. What other sounds does it make? Hold on, let me see what other sounds it makes. sound um, really muffled and shitty, or you can uh, do this, turn this this way and this way. That sounds better. I'm going to try to get through this whole demo with just playing A in different spots, so... demo. I littered all these other guitars all over the ground, so I actually know what I'm talking about, because I have other shit. Uh, this is a 24 and a half scale Supersonics 24. This comes with a, a, a 40 millimeter nut, um, which is similar to none of these guitars. Hold on. Is this still going? Okay, sweet. Uh, it's similar to this guitar. Back in the 60s, Fender made these. This is a, a, a 65 Mustang. With a, this is called an A-neck. It's very small. So this is a 40 millimeter nut. Same as this. But when you hold them up together and you hold your hand around them together, this neck is way smaller than this one somehow. They're the same size and this one's smaller, if that makes any goddamn sense. I don't know. It might not. Uh, bonus points for this guitar for not standing up on its own. Uh, most of these other ones just kind of stand up. That one does not. Similar to this one. This one just wants to lay down. Watch this one go. Ready? It's just going to do that. So that's the Square Paranormal series. That one. That one that I buried underneath them. I, and they made it the same color combination as the uh, my comp stain that I made myself better than what it was when I first bought it. So good on them for listening to me when I made that shit different ten years ago. And that's it. 60s High Cool Home Guy sucks. Doesn't know what he's fucking talk about. And, uh, yeah, it's my pile. Do it.